Hi, my name is Cody Hosterman, and I'm the Technical Director at Pure Storage for VMware Solutions. What I'm going to be showing you today is a technical preview of ESXi support for NVMover Fabrics with Rocky V2. And of course, I'll be demonstrating this with the Flash Array. So let's jump into the demo. So what we're seeing here is the Flash Array management interface. So the first step is let's actually create a volume. So this process isn't any different than anything you're used to today. Right? Give it a name, give it a size. Fairly straightforward. Just because we're using NVMover Fabrics as compared to SCSI with Fiber Channel or SCSI with iSCSI, right? this process doesn't change. We'll also take a look at our host. We have a host here with some NVMore Fabric initiators. You can see there's the NQNs there, and we'll connect that new volume to those particular initiators. Very similar in concept, or at least what it looks like, to iSCSI, right, with its IQNs. The flash rate also has targets of its own. So back in the VMware GUI, let's configure it from their side. So currently we only have a software iSCSI adapter and some you know, local SATA controllers. Let's enable the NVMore Fabric hardware adapter. So this isn't built into the vSphere GUI at this time, and so instead we have to use the CLI, and it's a lot more interesting to use PowerShell than I'd say the regular CLI, so I'm gonna use PowerShell to do this. I've connected to my vCenter, and now I'll connect to my certain hosts so I can run the operations on that particular host. Now that we've connected, let's run through the actual connection of the RDMA. So the first step is to actually enable the adapter. So I'm going to enable the RDMA adapter, and we can see it appear inside of the GUI. Now granted, this doesn't look perfect. It looks a little different, right? It even says SCSI right there. That's just some GUI things that will be fixed, of course, by the time that VMware releases this. Once that's done, we can actually create the connection right, to the target flash array. And this is two parts. First, we have to discover uh, the NVMe target, and then we have to connect to it. So it properly discovered, and the next step is to actually connect to it so we can see the volumes. Run the operations connected. As you can see, this is all using ESX CLI. And back in the vSphere GUI, we'll see the volume appear. Now, once again, there's some things that will change and look different uh, when this is released, right? It says local NVMe disk instead of course remote and so forth. But conceptually, that's what you'll see, right? We see a volume, and now we can put a data store on it. And once again, this process isn't any different either. Go through the new data store wizard, choose VMFS, choose that device, give it a name, just like a normal process, and we'll go ahead and format it with VMFS 6. So the nice thing about this, right, is things aren't really going to change. You just get the benefits of NVMe over fabrics, but you don't have to relearn how all of this stuff is configured. It's very similar to what you've done in the past. So the next step is actually put a VM on it. So I have a virtual machine here sitting on some local disk, I believe. And then we'll power it up. And once it's powered on, we'll verify that. It's CentOS VM. Take a look at the web console. Cool, almost done, perfect. All right, so now it's actually storage vMotion it over. Okay, so this is one of the nice things about this too. Even though you're creating new data stores, you can leverage built-in features from VMware, like storage vMotion, to non-disruptively move your virtual machines from your in existing infrastructure to the new ones. So I'll storage remotion that over, and we can take a look at the flash array to see that workload going through and that VM moving over. Right, This is moving from non-flash array storage to flash array storage, leveraging MVME over fabrics with Rocky V2. So this process will take some time to copy from that source. And we'll let that complete. And taking a look back at the vSphere GUI, we can see it's now done, and that VM is now running on my NVMe over Fabrics data store. So this has been a technical preview of, of what VMware is working on alongside with Pure Storage with NVMe over Fabrics. So stay tuned for more information as VMware releases it.